The five smallest stock exchanges in the world can be found on island countries off the coast of Africa and in the developing cities of Asia. In this video, we will take a look at how Myanmar has the smallest stock exchange in the world, with only six companies listed on it. And what do those six companies do? And how does the smallest stock exchange in the world compare to the biggest, the New York Stock Exchange? At the end of this video, we will take a look at how this five-year-old stock exchange is doing and what new exchanges are being started that could end up taking the title of the smallest stock exchange in the world. Let's first take a quick look at where in the world are the five smallest stock exchanges. Coming in at number five is the island country of Seychelles on the east coast of Africa. The fifth smallest stock exchange in the world is the MERJ Exchange, located in the Seychelles Islands. Tipped as the world's fastest growing exchange, just four years ago this exchange was ranked as the smallest on the planet. In 2020 it hit a market capitalization value of $1.2 billion, with 41 companies currently listed on the exchange. Number four is the Western African country of Cape Verde. The Cape Verde Stock Exchange has a market capitalization of $832.2 million and just four companies are listed on the country's exchange. Number three is the Asian country of Laos. The Laos Securities Exchange had a reported market capitalization of $827 million in 2020. This small Asian nation stock exchange has 11 listed companies. Number two, Cambodia. The world's second smallest exchange is the Cambodia Securities Exchange, which has a market capitalization of $442.92 million. This exchange was launched in 2011 by Cambodia's Ministry of Economy and Finance and the Korea Exchange. Today, just five companies are listed on the exchange. Number one, Myanmar. And finally, the smallest stock exchange in the world is in Myanmar. The Southeast Asian nation is home to the Yangong Stock Exchange, which was founded in 2015. This tiny exchange lists just six companies and has a market capitalization of $393.6 million. You can see how small that is just by comparing it to Domino's pizza market cap of $15.53 billion. Located in Southeast Asia, Myanmar has a population of 54 million and counts Thailand, India, Bangladesh, China and Laos as neighbors. Myanmar is also known for its diversity, with over 135 ethnic groups, while the majority of the country is Buddhist. In the business world, Myanmar is known for their trade of clothing and accessories. They also export fish, rice, and gems. Today, Myanmar is one of Asia's poorest countries, with a GDP of $76 billion, or $1,407 per capita, according to the World Bank. Following a coup in 1962, the country was ruled by the military up until 2016. The nation's economy has been hindered by decades of stagnation and inadequate infrastructure. Following the first democratic elections in 2015, the government has sought to modernize and boost the economy through measures like integration with regional economies and unification of exchange rates. Poverty fell by almost half between 2005 and 2017. It was at this time when the stock market was started in Myanmar's largest city, Yangon. Myanmar's economy is overwhelmingly agricultural, with around half of the country's arable land dedicated to rice production and agriculture. Half of the country's population are estimated to work in agriculture. Key sectors for exports include garment manufacturing, natural gas, and dried pulses, also known as dried seeds. Myanmar is also thought to hold the majority of the world's teak resources, and forestry has been a crucial source of foreign exchange in recent years. The country is also rich in underexploited deposits of metal ores, petroleum, and precious stones. Stock trading started at the Yangon Stock Exchange in March 2016, and the exchange opened to overseas investors in March of 2020. Over the last few years, the exchange has hit market capitalization of $393.6 million across six listed companies. Now compare that to the mega New York Stock Exchange. As of March 2020, it had over 2,400 companies listed and a market capitalization of $21.04 trillion. That means that the New York Stock Exchange alone is larger than the 50 smallest stock exchanges put together. The New York Stock Exchange does have the advantage of nearly 228 years of history, compared to Myanmar's five-year history. The origins of the New York Stock Exchange date back to the 1792 Buttonwood Agreement. 
The deal was supposedly signed under a buttonwood tree between 24 brokers who agreed to give preference to each other when selling securities. The agreement also set a minimum commission rate to prevent the brokers from undercutting each other. The opening of the Yangon Stock Exchange in 2015 was a major milestone for a country which was virtually closed to foreign investment until 2011. The news was received with a wave of optimism, both within Myanmar and beyond. Before the Yangon Stock Exchange launched, Myanmar's Deputy Finance Minister, Muang Muang Tian, said he expected at least seven listed companies on the first day of trading. Within three years, he said, the exchange would match the success of Vietnam's Ho Chi Minh Stock Exchange, which has a current market capitalization of $128.34 billion. In reality, just one company was listed on the first trading day, and it was a company called First Myanmar Investment. Over the next four years, the exchange was only able to list five more companies. So what kind of companies are listed on the world's smallest stock exchange? The very first company to list on the Yangon Stock Exchange was First Myanmar Investment, a real estate company. It's one of Myanmar's largest public companies and employs over 3,600 people. As well as its real estate and development projects, the company is also involved in banking, healthcare, tourism and coffee plantations. FMI is owned by Burmese business mogul Sergi Pun, who has an estimated net worth of $500 million and was ranked as Singapore's 38th richest man in Forbes Asia. The second company to list on the exchange is called Myanmar Thilawa SEZ Holdings, and they invest in the development and operation of Myanmar's first special economic zone, Thilawa, on the outskirts of Yangon. This highly successful project was built to make it easy for foreign investors to operate in Myanmar. Developed in partnership with the Japanese, the SEZ has rapidly expanded from five factories in 2015 to 81 factories by April 2020. Myanmar Citizens Bank was founded in 1991 and was listed on the exchange in 2016. The bank offers both personal and corporate banking, and it's one of Myanmar's oldest private commercial banks. The bank has recently announced the appointment of former HSBC senior executive Godfrey Swain as CEO. Two other companies listed on the exchange do business in banking and telecoms. And the sixth and most recent company to be listed is Everflow River Group. Listed in May 2020, the company specializes in providing logistics services and has 600 employees. In May 2016, the Yangon Stock Exchange launched their stock index, which helps investors calculate the market's performance. The first year or so was rocky, with the index suffering a rapid decline from a high of 1322 to 542 by February 2017. Over the past couple of years, the index has stabilized and now hovers around the 450 mark. One of the stock exchange's top performers is First Myanmar Investment. In 2019, the company announced revenues of $130 million. That was a 29% increase from the previous year. Not so lucky was TMH, Telecom Public Limited, who reported revenues of $2.25 million in 2019, which was a drop of 45% from 2018. So far, foreign investment has been extremely limited. Just 0.098% of Myanmar Tilawa SEZ holdings and 0.037% of First Myanmar investment shares are held by foreign investors. The key now for the Yangon Stock Exchange is to encourage foreign stock buyers. It is hoped that the recent decision to open up the stock exchange to foreign investors will stimulate greater growth as interest in investing in Myanmar grows in Japan, China and the United States. For now, the Yangon Stock Exchange is the smallest in the world, but how long will it hold on to this title? New stock exchanges are constantly emerging around the world. Over in the U.S., the Long-Term Stock Exchange, which focuses on long-term investors and companies, just made its debut in September 2020, while the Members Exchange, or MEMX, was also launched in 2020, acting as an independent and technology-driven exchange. The contender for the title of World's Smallest Stock Exchange will most likely come from the developing world. One frontrunner is Ethiopia. Even though the country has a larger GDP than Kenya, Ethiopia doesn't currently have its own stock market. According to the government, the country plans to open its first stock exchange sometime over the next five years, and a bill has already been drafted to create a regulator for the exchange. Only time will tell when the Yangon Stock Exchange will lose its title of the world's smallest stock exchange. On the next episode of the Grand Stock Exchange Society, we take a look at who started the first ever stock exchange in the world, looking at why merchant ships sailing from Europe to Asia resulted in the first stock exchange being created. Hit the subscribe and thumbs up button to not miss a video.